The project entails the development of Sparks and uh, Exhaust Expander. Uh, Sparks being an innovative patented rotor cooling system which solves the inherent problems of uh, rotary engine overheating using high density combustion gases as a cooling medium. And in combination with Creve for a compound rotary engine for electrical vehicles, this is a solution that increases the efficiency, the power of your engine while reducing fuel consumption and emissions all in an ultra lightweight package. The APC TDAP program is hugely beneficial to AIE as we move forward in the development and commercialization of our core technologies for the automotive industry. I've uh, been engaged in a national program uh, and all the associated publicity and, and, and interest that that attracts. The funding the program attracts is also hugely beneficial to AIE as a small SME. Um, we're struggling to obviously get investment into the business to continue the development of our program. So any assistance with uh, materials costs and labour costs associated with developing the technology and also commercialising the technology is, is a huge benefit. The APC TDAP program has helped AO immensely in developing its technologies, uh, both Sparks Cooling System and Creve Exhaust Expander Unit. Uh, the program has allowed us to develop the technologies within a very structured framework, initially identifying uh, gaps within the technology uh, development program and also our commercialization, and then developing us through a roadmap of commercial sector identification and then also technology uh, testing to ensure that we're actually speaking the same language as the OEMs and also to allow us to engage using the same terminology and giving them the information they require to understand our technology. The future of the project is to continue developing the technology for a very low weight and high performance vehicle, the range extension, hybrid solutions uh, that would begin with uh, engaging with niche vehicle OEMs that would raise our TRL, MRL, CRL levels up and that would naturally lead us to engage with larger OEMs, Tier 1s and Tier 2s. Beyond this, uh, with leading into applications in the aerospace and marine markets, the ultimate goal being to enter into large volume production for a major automaker.